better than the air in your own hometown. Hey, let's go. Changed a bit. At the risk of being overly expository, that three years is technically more like 27. For starters, you left your hometown of Kujula when you were just 12 years old. And in order to make it, you literally sent the train with We get it. Girls don't like guys who nitpick, you know. There's nothing special about this place. It's in a remote location, half day's travel from the nearest airport. It's not fancy, that's for sure. It's just a small town with a beautiful view. That's cool jour. It's simple. Yeah, well, I'm just glad we didn't have to walk very far to make it here. Oh, darling! Let's go get a cold drink. What do you say? Stop it, please. You two are disgusting. <gasps> Old Lady Kate's Bakery, it's still in business. I used to be the best at that game, if you can believe it. Nobody in town could even come close to my score. Watch. I'll show you why everybody used to call me 16 straight wins! Huh? Damn it! This place had the worst steak I've ever had. But look, it's their mascot, Butler. Or are you his grandson? You look just like him, you know that? Oh, you want a piece of me? I'll show you why they called me Flashing Mad Dog. Come on! <laughs> if you can't run with the big dogs, then stay on the porch, much. <laughs> Sadly, they've both passed away. Oh, really? Damn you! I didn't realize that. Oh, don't feel bad. I mean, it was 27 years ago. The shoes. Still, I'm sorry. Hey, do you think we could visit their graves at some point? Sure. Why not? Something isn't right here. I just can't figure out what. All right. Reminiscing is nice, but it won't get us anywhere. We should start off by investigating my past. Hey! I know this is your hometown, but isn't this where your last mission was, too? Watch it, kid! Uh, sorry about that! Hey, Auntie, look! I drew this! Check it out! There's no need to hurry. Now let me have a look. You like it? Wow! What a lovely drawing that is, dear. If you keep it up, I have no doubt you'll be a great artist one day. <laughs> Drop this. Is something wrong, Vito? My mom. Uh, Vito. It can't be. How you feeling, okay? Look at that runny nose. Got a cold? Yeah, that definitely looks like a cold. I think you better come with me. No, I'm Let's fine. Not fuss now. I don't Just go in there. On. Please leave me alone. So is that. at age 12. Wait, that was 27 years ago, wasn't it? And where we are right now is what, 34 years back? I suck at math. So then how old is the Victo that's living in this town Darling, now? are you alright? Mom, I didn't think I'd see you again. There, there. Here no you reason are. for tears. Huh? Oh my! Are you okay? <sighs> 
need some medical help? You look pale. You're not a patient, are you? If you'd like an examination, we can help. Eve, prep for an exam. Yes, right away. No, don't go yet. Please, I just want to talk. Uh... Wake up. Look around. This place isn't normal. Time doesn't move backwards. You always say that. Why would it be true now? Are you feeling all right? You seem quite out of sorts, young man. Hmm. My goodness, you certainly are looking pale. I'm Alexander Putin. You should let me examine you. Uh, thanks for the offer. He's fine. He's just tired from our trip is all. We'll go rest up back at our hotel. I tried, but no luck. I was hoping Snake might have some leads, but I can't even get him to answer the phone. This stinks! Uh, How can we have to sleep in our ramshackle hole in the wall? My darling and I should be in a suite at a hotel! Don't complain. Till we know what's going on, we need to do everything we can to avoid contact with the townspeople. Just because you're a virgin doesn't mean the rest of us should have to suffer! Ugh, jerk. Enough with the virgin crap! 12 plus 27 minus 34 is what? Math is so hard. Until we know for sure this whole thing isn't the work of a horror log, we all need to stay out of sight. We should keep our eyes open, too. Let's rotate the watch every two hours. Sound good? Hello? Uh, uh, yeah, I got you. Every couple of hours or so, you want me to eat some pasta through my nose, right? Not funny! I'm talking about the watch. Pasta. Am I the only person who's serious around here?
That's very kind, Doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Come again. My father isn't really a doctor. We didn't have a hospital in town. People had to travel half a day to get medical care. Please. So he studied medicine on his own time. Basically, he's unlicensed. He means well, he really does. The problem is that he's a worry ward and a little bit of a scatterbrain. Why a doctor? This place hasn't changed one bit, and neither have they. They're as kind and generous today as they ever were. Just don't get too sentimental. The investigation is our priority. If we don't figure out what's happening, we'll never get your time back. Twelve plus twenty-seven. Sentimental, huh? You there? Hello. Math class. You're the young man from before. I do hope you're feeling better now. <sighs> you know, it's really not a good idea to be carrying all these heavy bags by yourself. Not with a heart like yours. Huh? I'm fine. Exercise does the heart good. And what about you? Shouldn't you be back at your hotel getting some rest? As a matter of fact, I am feeling a bit lightheaded. Uh, sadly, the place we're staying is not exactly five stars. It's infested with fleas, ticks, and lice, and disagreeable roommates who snore and toss and turn in their sleep like beasts. Even worse, you should see the slop they expect us to eat. That doesn't sound fun at all. I've got an idea. Why don't you come over to our house for dinner tonight? Thank you for the kind offer, but we can't. What time should we come by? No, wait. Stop. You're getting sentimental again. Trust me, this is a horrible idea. We need some answers, right? What better place to start our investigation than over a meal with my dead parents? Come on, we'll be fine. Maybe we can figure out just what the hell is going on here. This is a mistake. Alexander Putin, and this is my beautiful wife, Eve. Hi, my name's Nina. We're married as well. Yay! Well, aren't you too young to be married? Oh, Eve, love doesn't care about things like age. Besides, we were pretty young when we got together, remember? Yes, that's true. Running a medical clinic must be a lot of work. No, not at all. Actually, I started it for Eve here. She's the one who inspired me to study medicine. She has a weak constitution, so I wanted to help her any way I could, and I'm glad I did. Well, that's a very noble reason. I guess it's true what they say when it comes to love, the heart will stop at nothing. Years in a trial and tribulation I wouldn't endure to keep my darling safe and sound. That's quite admirable for someone so young. But, Mr. Putin, don't forget love knows no age, sir. <laughs> yes, indeed, you're absolutely right. Wow, look, dear. Somebody's not having any fun. Oh, leave the prude alone. Don't worry about him. First of all, I'm supposed to be a guest here, so how did I get stuck doing all the cooking? Ever since we got here, I feel like Kujur is messing with me. Dinner is served. Oh, that's beautiful. It's almost like we're in a fine dining establishment. I'm so glad I let him do all of the cooking. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Kitty's growing on me. Let's eat, everyone! I completely forgot that when it comes to matters of taste, Kitty's not to be relied on. Never trust a virgin with food! The texture's quite interesting, but I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, my dear, are you okay? Sit down, will you? Some of us are trying to do some studying up here. Sorry to bother you. As you can see, we invited guests for dinner. This is our son, Vito. Perhaps it's not my place to say, but many others have called him a child prodigy. That's it! The answer to 12 plus 27 minus 34 is 5! Five. 5 years old! Wait, that's right! Right? It is! Right? Yes, he's just 5 years old. But he's already studying at a high school level. Hold on. Here, Victor. It's a special treat. I made it just for you. No thanks. 
catch your stupidity. Don't talk to your mother like that, young man. Do you hear me? Why should I listen to either of you? She's a pathetic good-for-nothing who can't do anything right no matter how hard she tries. You're a scatterbrained quack. You're lucky I stick around here at all. If it weren't for me, your patience would be dead. I expect nothing of the two of you. So just do me a favor and stay out of my way. Watch your mouth, you little brat! Hey, why are you stopping me? I'm a supervillain, man! I'll teach that tiny jerk a lesson, one that he'll never forget! Calm down, ladies. Huh? He's just a kid. Let it go, okay? How can a child be so mean to his own parents? Children are incredibly stupid. It's normal for them to act like impudent little twerps. that forced Vito to grow up more than anything was the loss of both of his parents. It wasn't until they were gone that he realized how precious they were. Morning. How did you sleep? Like a baby, thank you. Hey, Eve, is that pin hard to draw with? Well, yes, but it's a gift from my husband, so even though it's not ideal, I still like to use it. When he bought it, he didn't know it wasn't an artist's pen. But actually, I don't mind. In fact, the truth is, this is my favorite pen to draw with now. Yeah, I can tell that just by watching you. By the way, at dinner, I hope you were put off by my son... He... <coughs> Let me get you some medicine, Eve. My son really is a kind, gentle boy. Normally children his age are selfish. They just want to play with toys and have fun all day long. But Victo's not like that at all. He helps us run the clinic. I'm very proud he's grown to be such an independent boy. I know at first it might seem like he's a bad kid. But honestly, he's got a good heart. His father and I are to blame for his faults. No, that's not true at all, Eve. You and Alex are wonderful parents. He'll understand that one day, too. I know it. Are you going to give him that picture? Huh? Oh, yes. I don't have anything to offer him in the way of money. But I do have my drawings. It's not much. But at least he'll have something to remember me by. I'm hoping to give this to him when he turns 20. It's a surprise, so don't tell him, okay? I won't. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Have you had enough sentimentality yet? Or is atonement what you're looking for? Your parents died tragically in a fire. The cause remains unknown. All we really know for sure is that Eve collapsed due to her weak heart and Alex ran back into the fire to try and save her. But unfortunately, neither of them made it out alive. In the end, you never even got to see what she drew for you. Did you? What's this all about, Vito? You know what's happened can't be undone. You're wrong, Kitty. I did see the drawing. Somehow it survived the fire. See the walls come crashing down You are there, but you never hear From the time I was small, my parents had a wish The only thing they ever wanted was for me to be a victor Until you have one of your own, you'll never understand how a parent feels about their children, Kitty It's impossible to put into words Vito, stop this. Don't you understand? They're not your real parents. The past is the past. No matter what you do for them now, it won't change anything. Look, I get that you want to atone, but if you're only doing it for yourself, then what's Shut the point? Shut up, Kitty. Because you don't understand anything. Zilch. You want to conduct your investigation? Knock yourself out. But there's something I need to do on my own. 